Fight between the two senior most officers of the Central Bureau of Investigation has now reached court. Booked for corruption and staring at the possibility of arrest, the special CBI director Rakesh Astana rushed to the High Court today, which granted him relief from arrest till the 29th of October. The other related development is that Astana's junior and deputy SP Devinder Kumar was today remanded to seven days in CBI custody. Devinder Kumar made some sensational claims in court. He said there was no attempt to implicate the CBI director. Most importantly, Devinder Kumar said he had proposed the arrest of a former CBI director, A.P. Singh, controversial meat exporter, Moin Qureshi, and a man named Satish Babu Sana. But the CBI chief did not want these big names to be arrested. Ladies and gentlemen, the crux of the matter is that the CBI director and special director are accusing each other of taking bribes from the same person, Satish Babu Sana. And in connection with the same case, related to Moin Qureshi. Who is to be believed and how will this matter be resolved? Let's take this forward with our guest, former Joint Director of the CBI, Shantanu Sen, former Director General of Police of Uttar Pradesh, Prakash Singh, and a member of Devinder Kumar's legal counsel, the man representing him, Rahul Tyagi. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today. Mr. Prakash Singh, I'd like to begin with you. Mr. Rakesh Astana has always known and been reported by the media to be a man close to the Prime Minister. It's always been said that he has been the Prime Minister's pick. Now, there is a sensational case, an FIR against him. He has been booked for corruption. He's staring at the possibility of arrest. He moved court for reprieve. He's got that temporary reprieve. But what does this really say about the government? You see, this uh, fight, this internecine fight between the director and the special director has been going on for quite some time. Uh, people say uh, for the last two months. What, what were maybe the period? The point is, during this period, I would have expected the Ministry of Personnel or the CVC to sort out matters uh, so that there is no uh, washing of dirty linen in public. Mm. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that has not happened. Why, why has that not happened? Why did the ministry not uh, throw its weight? Mm. Why did the CV, CVC not exercise his authority mm. uh, in the matter? And uh, the matter has come to this pass. I mm. think it's uh, regrettable. Mm. I mean, apart from the fact that the two officers are to blame mm. for whatever is happening. Mm. Well, who is to blame more, who is to blame less, that's a different matter. Mm. But they are both uh, mm. to be blamed for this kind of uh, impasse, this kind of unsavory controversy. Should both of them go? Because no, the senior no. CBI uh, officer today said that it's important that there should be a purge in the Central Bureau of Investigation. No, I, I don't think you can push out the director CBI without the concurrence of the Supreme Court. He enjoys a certain status, uh, a certain uh, fixity of tenure which has been given to him. Mm. So CBI director can't be asked to go mm. uh, just like that. Mm. You will need the concurrence of the Supreme Court or you'll have to bring the matter to the notice of the Supreme Court at least. But Rakesh Astana should <coughs> go pending inquiry? Well. Rakesh Asthana has created a situation where uh, this kind of controversy has developed. Yeah. So maybe it would be in the best interest of uh, administration that uh, he is given, I mean, if whether he's to blame or not to blame, you if know? the government thinks he's not to blame, let him be given a more exalted status elsewhere. You know, the surprising thing is, sources, there are there is speculation that he has been uh, relieved of all his duties, but there is no official word on that from the Central Bureau of Investigation. <coughs> I'd like to get in Mr. Shantanu Sen, former Joint Director in the CBI. Uh, Mr. Shantanu Sen, by now it is clear that this entire case or this fight between the two officers is in connection with one case, Moin Qureshi. This is a controversial name, a bad omen for the CBI. Uh, you've got a former director, A.P. Singh, who's being investigated in this case. Ranjit Sinha, another CBI director who has been uh, investigated in this case. And now, both these officers, the CBI director, Alok Varma, and the special director, Rakesh Asthana, are both trying to implicate each other, accusing each other of bribery, citing the same person, Satish Babu Sana. What does this show, sir? It leaves one perplexed. How can both both persons bribe the same person. I mean, how can one person bribe both persons? Well, uh, what to, I don't know really how to react, but I agree with Mr. Prakash Singh that intervention should have taken long ago and the matter put to a halt. It's mm. a failure of the government, mm. complete failure of the government there has been dispute going on from, as far as I know, from the beginning of this year. Mm. 
Uh, the first there was ego problem. Mm. Possibly the ego problem came as I far as far as I can guess at this moment mm. is Rakesh Astana knows the CBI. Mm. He's worked in the CBI. Mm. He probably was reminding the the new director who had no knowledge of the CBI functioning what to do, what not to do. Mm. Must have hurt him, must have got his ego. Mm. And thereafter, if he came to know of certain uh, information, and I, why should one doubt the director? Mm. He and started taking action against him, probably. Mm. That uh, put them off. Yeah. And this was known to the CVC. CVC, under the Act, is responsible for the proper functioning right. of the CBI. But Had the Lokpal been there, the Lokpal would have intervened. Mr. Sen, if, so I, can, if I can just pursue this point. That intervention should have taken place. It has not somebody, taken place. As somebody you've, who has been in the CBI, this Moin Qureshi name is, has been rather notorious. Many CBI, at least three CBI directors have been connected with this, and now the two senior most officers as well. Why is this name so <coughs> controversial for the Central Bureau of Investigation? Well, that uh, begs the bigger question. Why should wrong type of persons be appointed as director CBI? Mm. You know, CBI had a wonderful image. Mm. And right up to the 90s, mm. even the late 90s, mm. CBI has investigated important cases and made a name for itself. Mm. It had very good officers, very good directors, mm. number twos, mm. who worked hard on investigation, who knew investigation. Mm. What happened? Mm. The downfall started about two decades ago, mm. nearly two decades ago. When you select a director CBI who has no experience of CBI, he makes a mess of the CBI. This has been seen before also. Mm. And okay. people take advantage of him, people give him wrong advice, he doesn't know. So right. that's what happened. We had people in the CBI who should not have been All right. should not have been made directors of CBI. So so you're saying that Alok Verma should not and have been made not, director of CBI. I would like to get in the lawyer for Devinder Kumar. I'm not talking about Alok Verma. Yeah. I'm talking about two from 2000 onwards, 2000 onwards. All right, so you're Alok saying... Alok Verma, of course, I think should not have been. All right, you feel he should not have been. Rahul Tagi, you were representing also, Devinder Kumar. <coughs> yes. Should, you were representing no Devinder Kumar in uh, court. There is an accusation against your client that he has fabricated evidence. Fabricated evidence, a key statement to implicate the CBI director, none other than the CBI chief. You said there has been a typographical letter, error. Explain that to us. Uh, what the CBI has alleged today in the court is that one statement of Satish Babusana, who is being investigated for, for being a conduit for uh, Moin Qureshi, his statement could not have been recorded on 26th of September 2018. This is what the allegation is, and the date of his statement is to 26th of September 2018. Because he was out of Delhi. Because he was out of Delhi. In fact, if I <coughs> give you a factual <coughs> background, because we have to understand this case without knowing the facts, we can't. Satish Babu Sana was being investigated for his role in the entire mess created by Moin Qureshi, in which I think Mr. A.P. Singh and Mr. Ranjit Sinha are also being investigated. The, this, my client, who is the investigator, he also got an LOC opened. Now, in the meanwhile, there was some, uh, this is an SIT, which was headed by Mr. Rakesh Astana. The, some inputs were received from intelligence that some money ought, seems to have been paid to higher officials in CBI. He mm. wrote, Mr. Astana, Astana being, you said Astana wrote it to his team. He wrote it to his team, conveying that this inf inf input has been received, and he also wrote, conveyed this information to the cabinet secretary. Mm. Cabinet secretary wrote this, wrote to the CVC to look into it. Mm. And immediately when the CVC started looking into it, the entire file of the case was taken away from SIT. Mm. And it was, it, it was uh, sent to the AIG policy. Did Devinder Kumar also propose the arrest of Moin Qureshi, AP Singh, the former ZBI director, and Satish Babu Sana? No, uh, he, he did uh, recommend arrest of Mr. Uh, Moin Qureshi and Satish Babusana and two more. But Mr. A.P. Singh was not uh, recommended for arrest. His case, his, his involvement was being uh, investigated. You must understand the Moin mm. Qureshi case was not registered by CBI on its own. Mm. It, during investigation by the enforcement directorate, the, direct, the director of ED, mm. he sent a note with all the call details of Mr. A.P. Singh and the uh, messages being exchanged and money being exchanged, which mm. was being, which, which could be seen there on mm. the... So they were investigating this. Okay. Now what happens is CVC <laughs> starts looking into it and the file is taken away from the SIT. And you also said that when you propose the arrest of Moin Qureshi and Satish Babu Sana, this key witness that's being cited everywhere, yes. the CBI director 
sat on it. Sat on it. Yes. There was no In fact, approval the given. approval, uh, the proposal was sent by the, uh, by the IO. Mm. It was approved by the SP. It was approved by the joint director. It was approved by the special director. But the DCBI, the director CBI, sat on it and he said, we must take the opinion of director of prosecution. Mr. Prakash Singh, very serious charges being made by the deputy SP through his ra lawyer, Rahul Tyagi, in court. How do you respond to this? No, these are, this is all on record. This He's is, saying all of this, all is, on of this is on record. And the CBI is saying, they had one argument today to defend themselves. They said, how can a case file, a confidential, top secret case file, be in the possession of the investigating officer? How can this be recovered from his residence? No, it has not been recovered from his residence, sorry. Where, where was it recovered from? It was not recovered from anywhere. We have used it in court. All right. So the CBI said it has been recovered from his personal possession. That's what the CBI said. Yeah. How do you respond to it? Look, I do not know the details of the case, uh, which file was recovered from whom and what was recorded and what was recommended. So I would not like to make comment on this. Okay. But, uh, I mean, suffice it to say that the director of CBI must, I mean, when he is recommending that a matter be referred to the director of prosecution, hmm. I don't think it shows any malafide. Hmm. It only, I mean, uh, director of prosecution is, uh, is the highest uh, judicial functionary to advise the... Uh, the CBI. Mm. So if a matter is referred to him, okay. I mean, it is something... Uh, I would like to come in here. All right, I'll, no. just, I'll just get you in. Uh, uh. Majid Memon, senior advocate, is also with us. Mr. Majid Memon, just to ask you a broad question. Look at these top officers. You've got... Mr. Memon, if you're with us, Rakesh Astana was heading the SIT. He was handling cases like Vijay Malia, Nirav Modi, SL Maxis, Inix Media Deal, the Augusta Westland Chopper Deal. Can all these accused tomorrow go to court and say... How can they be prosecuted when the officers who headed these investigations are themselves under a corruption probe? Well, certainly. It's an, indeed a situation so confused, so complex, so pathetic that uh, the offenders uh, of the category of Vijay Maria, Nirav Modi, etc., for whom we are spending billions of rupees, to secure their bodily presence by means of extradition from mm. on the foreign soil. Mm. They would easily make an application before that court pointing out mm. that if the allegations are being carried by the officer who himself is of a dubious character, mm. then this can't be trusted by mm. And I'm sure that the courts there would look into the merit of this kind of a contention raised therein. Mm. That apart. Mm. But as far as our own country is concerned, mm. now this particular number two in CBI is no small ranking officer. Mm. You see, CBI as an institute mm. needs to be protected, needs to be respected, needs to be considered mm. as a premier investigating agency mm. throughout the country from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, mm. whether states or union territories. Right. We find that if the cases turn complex yeah. or if the cases are of grave implications mm. of national interest, of public interest, and the local police is unable to mm. pursue mm. investigation in the right direction for certain hurdles, right. then always the high courts, Supreme Courts or the governments yeah. talk of shifting transferring the investigation to CBI, yeah. reposing greater faith than the policemen. At the end and of the day, the Central Bureau of Investigation <coughs> is the premier investigating agency, Mr. Majid Memon. Whenever there is a person looking for any kind of hope, any kind of justice, they always say, let the case be handed to the CBI for an impartial Absolutely. investigation. What will this those people precisely. think? Mr. Memon, let me, let me tell you... I'll, I'll get back to you, Mr. Memon. I'll just please request me, you for a... give me a minute yeah. more. Give me a minute more. See, as a member of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Law and Justice, we had a meeting yesterday. Mm. We had a meeting sometime back too, mm. where I have always expressed my anxiety with regard to the losing of the faith by the people in the premier investigating agency. Mm. You see, if the people lose their confidence or That's faith, an important point. which has totally been shattered today, yeah. you know, where do we land up? We That's land up in a state of total misery. At the end, what I'm is the message the will Prime this Minister government will my, send my to political the leader Sharad Pawarji has rightly yeah. called upon the Prime Minister to rush, intervene, and set the house right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get in. Mr. Memon, please stay with us. Please get in. Uh, we're going to get in Mr. Shantanu Sen. Mr. Sen, is there some larger problem over here? Is this a fight between bureaucracy? Is this a fight over who's the favorite? Are favorites being protected? Are larger political players involved? Because, you know, we've been seeing a fight uh, between a senior official of the Enforcement Directorate versus 
Mr. Hasmuk Adia, who's another senior bureaucrat in the government. We're also looking at a fight within the CBI between the number one and number two. Is this a larger power play here? I, I cannot really um, say that. But certainly they, there was some ego hassle between the number two and number one. Mm. And that was as it possible because the number two was a CBI man. He had worked in the CBI. He mm. knew the CBI intimately. Mm. He had spent a long time in Dhanbad. Mm. He, was, he had made a name for himself and mm. then he had in touch with the CBI. Mm. The new director had never worked in the CBI, not only not worked in the CBI, not even worked in the anti-corruption agencies. Mm -hmm. But probably uh, Asthana, I can only guess, probably Rakesh Asthana was frequently pointing out to him that this, this is how the CBI functions, mm. your decisions are not <coughs> proper, etc. He might have got on his wrong side. Okay. But that mm. is the ego problem and that could have been sorted out by the director within six months. Mm. Within six months, he would have understood the CV and said it right. Mm. But we should not mix up the ego with the corruption at, uh, attack. Okay. Corruption is a specific charge mm. and a very serious charge. Okay. The director CBI is the top man in the organization. Right. And the difference between the number one and number two is a gulf because okay. that is how the police functions. You know, Mr. Sen, I'm going if to take a break. If he finds his joint number two corrupt, I'm going to he has every right to take action. I'm Mr. Prakash Singh, Rahul Tyagi, Mr. Majid Mehmood to stay with us. We're taking a short break, but this interesting discussion continues. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You're watching Political Exchange. The war within the CBI has turned uglier and murkier. Let's go back to our guest, Mr. Prakash Singh, getting you in at this stage. The CBI has confirmed that this is not the only case that is being investigated against Rakesh Asthana. Yes, this is a corruption case related to the Moin Qureshi case. A lavish family wedding of Rakesh Asthana that happened in Badodra way back in 2016 is also under probe because apparently a lot of freebies were taken, according to CBI. A team has also visited Badodra. They've questioned four hoteliers. They've questioned about 12 people mm -hmm. in connection with that wedding. Do you feel that the charges against Mr. Rakesh Asthana are very, very serious and it doesn't stop here? Well, prima facie, they are serious. Mm. Uh, and if the director of uh, CBI is uh, leveling those charges, mm. uh, one has to take them seriously. Mm. And uh, I mean, the observation which was just now made that uh, uh, Verma should never be, have been made the director of CBI, I mean, one, one should go into the background how he was uh, chosen. Mm. And once he has been chosen by a selection committee which comprised the Prime Minister, <coughs> of India and the leader yeah. of the opposition. Yeah. I think we should respect that selection mm. and not question uh, the elevation of Alok Verma as director of CBI. Yeah. I mean, we should have give, give him uh, the We credit. should let it be. He, he should deserve to be selected back and therefore fully. he was selected. We should put it that yeah. way. Mr. Memon, Mr. Memon, if I can get you in at this stage, Mr. Mr. Prakash Singh over here says that once the CBI director has been chosen, the government should completely back him up. The question also will be now in courts. Today, uh, we didn't see Mr. Tushar Mehta, who's the Solicitor General representing the CBI. Usually in all serious CBI cases, and this definitely is a serious case, you have Tushar Mehta representing uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation. Today, he wasn't there. Do you think the way, the, man the way this case proceeds in the High Court in the days to come will really clear the air on where the government stands and who the government really backs? See, to say that once the government has chosen a particular uh, man to hold an important position mm. as a law officer and uh, then the government must uh, back him, I don't think I agree with this proposition. If the government has innocently or inadvertently mm. posted a person who perhaps did not deserve that, mm for want of uh, integrity, mm. for want of his character, for want of his honesty, mm. for want of his competence, for want of many other factors. Mm. And then if that is surfacing, mm. then government must immediately act to stop this. Mm. So that, and mm. take corrective measures. Mm. You can't just back someone only because you have chosen that but, person. But do you feel that, that the fact that, that Tushar Mehta, the Solicitor General, was not representing the CBI today, that says something? No, that, that is true. This is uh, the uh, the uh, learned advocate representing CBI in the court may take his decision, which he would feel to be judicious, mm. to be right, mm. to be one which his conscience is uh, urging him to do. Okay. And therefore, therefore, I think you see the government <laughs> also must not feel 
shy or must not feel uh, a bit, you see, reluctant hmm. in uh, uh, pulling up the man hmm. who is found to be unworthy of that position. Okay. Uh. Tricky, tricky po position for the government. So I'll get in Rahul Tyagi. He's been waiting for a long time. Uh, Mr. Tyagi, there is a... The basic allegation against your client is the fact that he conspired with Rakesh Astana to implicate the CBI director. What is your defence? The allegation is that we were receiving... The, the SIT members of SIT were receiving bribes from the man whom they wanted to get arrested, against whom they got LOC opened, and that man comes and... You know what has happened? Mr. Moin Qureshi must be laughing today that I got my entire investigation just just off the rails and completely discredited by getting one of my conduits to make an allegation against the special director and mm. the entire investigation has been derailed. Mm. What we are losing sight of is that a man against whom there is specific evidence who was about to be arrested and who would have divulged the, 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 how the dealings were done, mm. he comes and makes an allegation against unsubstantiated, mm. totally unsubstantiated allegation against the special director. Immediately an FIR is registered mm. and the IO is arrested. Mm. What is this? He's laughing. Entire... I mean, tomorrow any accused will simply write an application and saying that these people are asking for bribes from me and, and you'll arrest them. Mm. What, what is going to happen? Hmm. All you need to do is write a complaint and, and sim implicitly the, uh, but, the... But tell me something. If, if there has been a typographical error, the CBI has a point when they say that, yes, the CBI director has the right to choose which investigation should proceed, who should be arrested and who should not be arrested. Mm -hmm. And Satish Babu Sana had been examined several times. Uh, he had not been arrested. And at that time, the CBI director uh, did not feel the need uh, for it. I arrest. think I should put, put this in perspective. One... It is entirely the prerogative of the investigating officer whom to arrest and how to interrogate. In fact, in Taj Corridor scam, the Supreme Court came down very heavily on this practice of Director CBI in interfering into the investigations and referring the matters to Director Prosecution. Hmm. We must read that judgment. It is, a, it is a lengthy judgment which says <coughs> this practice is a nefarious practice and it should stop. Hmm. If you will look at history of uh, how the, uh, these prosecutions have been scuttled in, hmm. in, in CBI, you will find hmm. that... Every time there is an investigator who finds somebody is hmm. accused of some wrongdoing, they hmm. will say, we will seek the opinion of director prosecution. Hmm. Now, let me tell you who is director prosecution. Hmm. Director prosecution is generally from the legal background, and he will give his evidence in the courts whether this will stand or not stand. Let's, no. let's focus on this case, yes. and I want to ask you about that letter written by Rakesh Asthana to all his team members, the SIT. Yes. I think that was written on the 21st of... Uh, August uh, 2018? 20th of August, something, 20th, yeah. 20th, 20th. What August. did the letter exactly say? The letter say? simply says that there has been intelligence inputs that some, some people are claiming that they have paid off the director CBI and this should be... The, we, I just want you to sensitize and this this information he put up to the cabinet secretary also. He did mm. not take any further action in this. Now, now yeah. I want to yeah. tell you one thing. Today, one SP registers an FIR against the special director and there were rumours that he may be arrested. Mm. Tomorrow, another SP will register an FIR against the director and tomorrow, the director will be arrested. Big, cred big credibility crisis for the Central Bureau of Investigation, sir. How can this matter be resolved, Mr. Prakash Singh? No, both both officers have complained. I, I would like to question his premise. He says that one SP will register a case. It, no, it doesn't happen like that. When the SP conducts an investigation and, uh, they, you see, the file moves up the ladder. Mm. It goes to the DIG, it goes to the IG, mm. and uh, in important cases, it will go right up to the director. Mm. And if the director feels that at different level, officers have given, given different opinions, mm. and he wants to be sure of his judgment, mm. then he refers to the, the matter to the director of prosecution, which is absolutely in order. I do mm. not know mm. what the Supreme Court said in the Taj Corridor's case. Mm. Uh, maybe they made the observation in a particular context, which does not obtain in this particular case. Mm referring the matter to, you see, as superintendents of police, I remember, we, mm. we would, in case of a doubt, always consult these SPP mm. uh, about what, uh, I mean, th this is what the investigating officer has suggested, but this mm. is what the supervisory officer is saying, okay. what needs to be done. Yeah. And mm. uh, one last point about uh, Mr. Men, Men, Men I, I would like to uh, refresh his memory. You see, the circumstances under which Alok Verma was selected as the director of CBI. You see, there was, uh, the, director, the director of CBI's post was lying vacant. Mm. Uh, Asthana was officiating as the director. Mm. His appointment was challenged by Prashant Bhushan. Mm. At that time, government was pressurized 
to accelerate the selection of director of CBI. Mm. And at that time, Alok Verma, who was, a, who was then uh, functioning as uh, right. commissioner of police, he was selected. Yeah. It was a, prop, I mean, a proper procedure was a followed. Proper procedure a procedure was followed. laid down by the Supreme Court that yeah. was followed. I'm not saying that if he does anything wrong, he should be supported. Yeah. But he was selected you can't by, question somebody by just observing because due process of uh, law. He's from a different cadre and he's come from a different police and force. Ex I mean, he may yeah. not have experience of uh, CBI, yeah. but that does not uh, dilute his integrity. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Mr. Prakash Singh, Rahul Tyagi, Mr. Memon, and uh, Mr. Shantanu Sen, we'd like to thank you for joining us. But I guess this debate raises one big question. How is the Central Bureau of Investigation uh, going to assure people across the country of its own credibility that a just way will be found out of this entire mess? And how will the government and the Prime Minister's office send an assuring message and resolve this crisis in our premier investigating agency? These are the topmost officers fighting. They handle some of the biggest cases and most sensational cases of our times. What is the way out? Let the accused not take advantage of this uh, mess within the CBI. Thanks for joining us.